Invite a budget blind style consultant to show you how to transform your rooms just by changing your window coverings. Canada's number one choice for window coverings. Visit budgetblinds.ca today. For a number of years, local dentist Neki Jamal has been traveling to South America, providing dental care for people who normally would never see someone in his profession. However, Jamal has recently gotten to the root of the problem, and over the weekend he held a fundraiser at the Root and Lloyd Minster to help his new cause. Chris Chacon reports. Water. We drink it, use it to shower, and often tend to complain when we run out of hot water. Well, in Canada, we are fortunate to have access to good, clean drinking water at our fingertips. There are children that don't have fresh water. It's cheaper for them to drink pop than it is to have a bottle of water. Or Nobody has running water in their homes. Having little to no access to clean water, many are resorting to drinking sugared beverages, damaging their teeth and their health. If we can provide clean water to these communities, we can, we can basically change their lives. And that's exactly what this local dentist is working to do. We're coming together to drill one water well tonight in the community of La Sagardia Familia along the Honduran border in Nicaragua. An initiative he began in Central America as he conducted charity dental work, going from fixing teeth to providing something we all need to live. With these 100 people here tonight, we're giving a community of 1,000 people a chance. The cost of one water well is $10,000, an amount that was reached by supporters. I'm just really excited to support a cause like this where we get to give to something that we all take for granted, water. Chris Chacon, New Cap News. Well, it's that time of year again when millions of people across the world celebrate the all-famous German festival, Oktoberfest. And plenty of residents in the border city suited up in Lederhosen and gathered at the stockade to enjoy the historic cultural event that has been around for centuries. Chris Chacon has more. One, two, three. Oktoberfest, an evening filled with music, dancing, food and drinks. Sharing the whole culture, the food and the people that we see here every time we come, it's, it's always an enjoyable evening out. A fun event that has survived the ages. It started in 1810 in, in Munich and it was a wedding celebration for a count, Tis and a baron. I fight, I a celebration that has evolved into a tradition that has been upheld by the Lloydminster German Heritage Society for the last 24 years. I think it's really important that we share our culture because we are a multicultural uh, country. We do have dancers coming from Saskatoon and we got the band out of Edmonton, shoot, uh, the Umbapa band and uh, yeah, everybody should have a good time. The music brought plenty on the dance floor for a taste of German folk music. While those sitting down, well, they had a chance to taste some Oktoberfest-style beer. For Chacon, New Cap News. Well, for most, most Albertans, the thought of a provincial sales tax is unsavory. And back in 1990, the introduction of a country-wide goods and services tax was met with apprehension. As Jeremy Thompson shows us in this week's retrospect, one sector hit hard by the new GST was travel. This is just some of the material accountants have to sift through to get a handle on how the tax affects us. What makes the GST so hard to deal with is all the alterations. It's taken a lot of work, but we've been able to keep up. Uh, the concerning time right now is we're trying to get a hold of information as it comes out in case there's changes and in case they rule in certain areas. And the hard part is to stay on top of the, the changes. Spenrath says his phone has been ringing off the hook, the calls I deal with a variety of, of issues, which means he has to know about process. all areas of the tax. The concern from an, our office point of view is dealing with our thousand clients who all have different concerns and a lot of different questions. Uh, you know, it seems like our clients are in every sector. The travel industry is one area that will be directly affected by the tax. One of the main problems is the uncertainty. We don't know how it's going to affect our pricing yet. We're trying to determine from the hoteliers, from the attraction people that we deal with, from our travel suppliers, just how much it will affect our costing. It's holding up our brochure. It's affecting our marketing strategy for this year as well. 
Everything seems to be late coming out this year because everybody's trying to determine what's going to happen with GST. Duhame says once the bill is passed, business will be affected. I think that it's going to affect travel in Canada a lot uh, because everything that a traveler does in Canada is going to be subject to GST. We've been talking with some of our travel suppliers who operate motor coach tours to, uh, for example, the uh, Maritimes in the New England states. Or rather than coming back through Canada, after going, say, from Toronto to St. John's or, or uh, to Newfoundland, they'll come back through the states. And so if you're saving for a trip around the world, make sure you know all the costs. Mike Long, Broadcast Centre News. Well, I spoke with 2015 Jerry DeHame, and he says that, like every other business, travel agencies just got used to the GST. However, he says the new culprit for expensive airfare is something called a fuel surcharge, which can add up to $500 to the price of a long-haul ticket. That's all for Retrospect this week. I'm Jeremy Thompson.